What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to official Gang Sets and Music. I will greatly appreciate you guys by subscribing to this channel and also smacking that like button. Now let's get into this shit. Today, we're going to talk about Vario Pasadena Rifar. Um, their gang in Pasadena, obviously, it says it in their name. Um, they're located around Summit Avenue and Penn Street. Now, they got a couple of uh, uh, cliques um, called the Assassins and Bullets. Now, this hood, they get into a lot of funk with basically anybody in Pasa. Um, like they get into it with uh, Pasadena Latin Kings, Villa Boys, Northside Pasa, Southside Pasa, and, and all the Denver lanes that are out there. Um, now, if you may or may not know, um, there's a rapper that goes by the name of Al Boy. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm gonna show you guys a quick music video. Just waking up in the morning in a deep coma From the night before smell cold can aroma Straight from the kitchen residue on mittens Keep the game plan on the low full snitching Dabbling with prison time put it all on the line I just want my kids to be living fine I'm stuck in the web I'm molding myself Blinded by an icy wrist and accumulating Now Al Boy he's a uh currently signed to mac 10's label that's called who banging and um yeah so let me pull up this old um court document um that's dated way back you know way back when when shit was really banging um i mean not saying that nothing's happening now but this was in the 90s so i mean everybody talks about the 90s being the hardest so you know i gotta run with it you feel me um, so we're going to jump into this and, uh, yeah, I'm going to read it to you guys. Caesar Bertie Escamilla testified at the trial that approximately 6.15 p.m. on May 27, 1998, he and 14-year-old Salvador Yogi Diaz were hanging out on the front porch of a vacant cafeteria at a Pasadena middle school. They were active members of the tiny locals faction of the Southside Pasadena street gang. Appellant is a 19 year old Vario Pasadena Rifa street gang member with the moniker Mad Boy. Appellant approached Yogi. Yogi overheard Appellant challenge, excuse me, Escamilla overheard appellant challenge Yogi about the tiny local's presence at the school, which was VPR's territory. Appellant also complained that someone had crossed out appellant's name in VPR's gang graffiti. Yogi made a reply Escamilla could not hear, and appellant pulled out a handgun and shot Yogi in the chest. Yogi fell to the ground and later died as a result of the gunshot wound to his heart and lung. Appellant then pointed the gun at Escamilla. Escamilla ran and Appellant shot Escamilla twice in the back and buttocks. Escamilla limped to the nearby, nearby residence of tiny local gang member Jose Perez. Escamilla believed he would die as a result of the bullet wounds. He felt as if he was suffocating and at times lost consciousness. Escamilla told Perez that Mad Boy shot him and Yogi, and Yogi remained at the school later that day. At the hospital, police officers showed Escamilla a six pack photographic display and Escamilla pointed out appellant was the assailant. Escamilla 
told the police Mad Boy was his assailant. In a separate conversation, Escamilla told fellow gang member Mario Perez that Mad Boy was the assailant. That night, at midnight, a pennant fled to the country of Mexico. This is official gang sets. Thank you for watching.